goes the first blow. All right, let's get prepped for this. And by prepped, I mean this is pretty much it. Hey, you said I got the first blow, you jackass. Really? Three? Three? Are you kidding me? Three freaking hits and he's gone? Okay, now only deeds can resolve this matter between Dagathar and I. And I killed him, and then nothing happened. But this, I mean, this door opened. Let's go into a Kula Khan's chamber. Apparently, Dagathar isn't the final boss here. Oh, no. I'm a god. No, I can still hit you, dude. I'm trying not to die here. We're staying very close to the edge. Oh! What the hell? And his health just is not going down. Am I missing something here? Let's turn the crank. Let's let's see what else I can do around here. This is apparently bum rushing him isn't isn't the solution here. What the hell? <gasps> okay, there are people around here. Am I supposed to run here? What am I? All right, I turned the crank. I don't know what it was supposed to have done. I bet he's like full healed now because he's a douche. I have to hit him to find out though. Not really, but feels like there's something that I should be doing here. Something other than smacking him upside the face. Turn the crank. That doesn't seem to do... Oh, I mean, that handles the door. So, I yeah, I'm just supposed to... Alright, what, what can I do here? What can I do? What kind of scrolls do I got? These scrolls have got to come in handy sometime. Alright, here we go. The spell. Or off you go. Did I win? Did, did I win? I don't know if I won. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I pushed him off the side. I don't think he died. Oh, I'm supposed to go like down there. Okay. Maybe I'm just doing this the stupidest way that I can, but... They're not really, you know, telling me what I need to do. The battle music stopped for a second there. But now I guess I'm close enough for him to, to reactivate. See? Yep, there he is, waiting in the middle. Waiting in the middle. Let's Let's go around him for now. See if there's anything else around here. Just seems to be a couple guys. We'll just wait for a second. Stop running! There we go. A couple mine carts, but that's not going to help me with anything. This guy is huge. No wonder you want to revive him. Why would I revive this guy? Alright, can I push him, like, down into the lava? Is that my goal here? Oh, what the hell? The heart of Lorcan. Is he still, like, alive down there? Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be standing here. He is alive! What the hell? Ugh. Of course, I have to do this the fucking hard way, don't I? He's still, he's still getting hurt, though. He's getting hurt. That's what it looks like to me. All right, let's uh, let's use one of my levitates here. <laughs> God, what the hell is going on? I've broken the game. Um, where are my levitates? I know I have levitates. Fortify, fortify, invisibility, lightning. There's my levitates. All right, down we go. Is he supposed to have, like, infinite... He does have fucking infinite health. Okay, so what the hell am I supposed to be doing for real, then? I mean, if the lava's not getting him, what the hell am I gonna do? I know lava isn't as, you know, powerful in this game as, as everything else, but... Still. Still, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? It feels like I need to be doing something with these cranks. 
kill a kill a con. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, uh, I'm confused as to what I need to do, so give me a second, and I will try to find out, because I can't... God, I hope I don't have to kill him. <laughs> Hold on. It would probably help if I paid attention. Um, so, let's go ahead and use uh, the, the things that we've, been, that we've been getting. And we can use Sunder on the heart. That doesn't seem to be doing anything, so then let's try Kini on the heart. There we go. There we go. This is the end. So I got rid of him. And it looks like I have taken out the heart. So yeah, these guys do have infinite health. That is crap. <laughs> so down goes the Kulikon. Uh, should have figured that I would have to use those weapons. That's why they had me get them. Good thing I got off the bridge. Is he still down there? Alright, looks like we are free to get out of here. The heart's still there! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, it is time to leave. We have defeated Dagathar. I think. I don't see him down there anymore. Hopefully one of the big rocks landed on him. I may have done this completely wrong, though. If I did, I apologize. <laughs> I did this the worst way possible, I'm sure. Uh, but I always try to bring new content. <laughs> let me try to justify that. <clears throat> okay, let me, let me through. Back to the facility cavern. Can I destroy it? Like, like my journal's not updated? I had to flee for my life, so I'm I'm supposed to be fleeing for my life here. Let's run! <gasps> Who are you? You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Duema's folly, Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart freed, the prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the loss. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nerevarine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you are thanks and blessing, our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. All right, looks like we have completed it. Take a look, with Dagathar destroyed, his insane dreams can no longer drive the people of Morrowind to madness as they sleep. That's all you have to say. Who are you? Why did you glitch out? And she's gone. But her ring remained. It's Azura! She has a very nice ring. Restore fatigue constantly, night eye. That would have been helpful a lot l earlier on, to be honest with you. Did I automatically equip that? like it did. So it looks like we have done everything that we needed to do here in Morrowind. We have killed Dagathar. We have slain Akulakan, even though he wasn't really alive even and his heart is still floating. So that looks like that's going to do it. But I do have a couple things I wanted to do just for a little bonus content here. So I'll meet you on the other side. And I'm back. And, well, I haven't really changed anything. Uh, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did change uh, my armor up because it was getting ridiculous, damn it. It was getting ridiculous. Uh, when I needed to repair shit. Oh my god, it took forever. I was just sick of, of handling that. So, that is going to do it for uh, this, uh, this Let's Play. <laughs> of Let's Play Morrowind, let's use our carry in flight, 
and I need to load the area mid jump. I can't really control the jump. Ah! Holy crap! Are you kidding me? It hurt that much? The did I lose my boots? I didn't lose my boots. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I had fun making it. The game has trolled me many, many times. I, I'm not afraid to say that. Uh, th the game was not exactly what I expected. I still had fun with it. still had fun, uh, but it wasn't uh, as good as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. The mods are great. The world that is in is great. Uh, my problems are usually with this game, uh, gameplay related, fighting, leveling, quests, all that kind of stuff. But it's still a fun game to do if you have the wiki in front of you. If you don't have the wiki in front of you, prepare to get insanely frustrated. But this is uh, this is a game that, well, I feel like a lot of people overlooked over the years um, because of the success of, of Oblivion and Skyrim. Maybe people are going back to it now. Uh, it is worth checking out if you are a fan of Oblivion and Skyrim and you want to see where where the series started. Uh, but don't expect uh, don't expect Oblivion and Skyrim level mechanics in the game. That was that was my downfall. Uh, outside of that, the game is is good. You know, it's good. I love the world in particular. Everything is so detailed. Um, all the uh, the enemies, even though they can be very annoying, uh, the higher levels with how often they show up. I'm just running around wherever I can go. Um, th they have put a lot of detail into this game that a lot of games would not have. Um, that's what made it even more frustrating for me uh, that they did skip a lot of details like the fatigue and the battle and the leveling and all that kind of stuff. But I, I don't give this game enough credit and I realize that, but it is, uh, it is a decent game. I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10 would be my final score for this game. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset with that score, thinking it should be higher, thinking it should be lower, uh, but I'm going to stick with 8. But that is going to do it for this Let's Play. I know it has been a long one. It has been longer than I actually originally anticipated when I started uh, doing this. I really imagined maybe about 100 to 120 parts. Uh, so this has gone on longer than I expected. I thank you guys if you have stuck with me through it. Yeah, you still care that I'm here, don't you? I know the game is technically over, but you should still try to battle me from time to time. So I thank you guys so much for sticking with me, if you have stuck with me. Um, I will move on to the next game rather shortly. I will put up a uh, vote video rather soon um, as well for, for things like names, builds, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, so. We will be moving on to Dragon Age Origins next, as promised. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed Morrowind, though. Uh, I know I haven't been the, the best guide through it uh, since I've been going through it blind, uh, but I hope you guys were at least entertained as I did. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Um, this, this entire Let's Play. If you liked what you saw, you know, a, a like is always appreciated. Comments are even more appreciated. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe. I do post two to three videos a day uh, to try to keep up uh, with all the games. Uh, so if you guys are interested in seeing more from me, feel free to subscribe if you aren't already. And I thank you uh, if you have. So that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I think I've said that a few times. Hope you've enjoyed the entire Let's Play. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by God himself. James Duran. He could become God if he so wanted. But he chose not to. Because he is simply the savior of us all. James motherfucking Duran. Hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time for Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. <laughs>